All right, I'll give it a shot. Now look, I probably won't be much more clear here, but apparently I was not very clear last night, as all people heard was, uh, fish sucks. That wasn't really the case, you know? That's the, some people just only hear the negative. I don't understand. I know I said lots of positive things about last night. I say lots of positive things every night. But then sometimes I'm not great at expressing myself. I know my recaps are more of just like a rant. You know, some nights the rants are all smiles. Some nights it's a lot of frowning. And, uh, you know, maybe I wasn't clear on the end because the first comment was like, oh, I thought Harry Hood was the great way to end the show. That's I mean, come on, man. Harry Hood was not my problem. And when I say the end of the show, I don't mean the last few minutes. I'm talking about just like overall, if the show's like a three or four hour experience, I'm talking about the last 30, 40 minutes. Like starting with the no men in no man's land. And then people were like, another guy this morning was like, wow, I thought that was real high energy. Of course you thought it was real high energy, man. That's exactly what it was supposed to be. It was back to back high energy chomper anthems to end the set. And you know, maybe it, uh, the energy was off the charts. Well, why do you think Trey needed to do that twice in a row? I mean, part of it is because he's got a, he's a somewhat of a narcissist and he loves the, uh, you know, the feeling that he's getting back from people. But really, you know, it must have been a little bit of a dead zone during that Ruby Waves for him to think he needed two of those in a row. So that was really, that was part of my issue, was um, just the back-to-back -back chomper anthems that did the, serve the same exact purpose and did the same exact thing. You know, I think they're way too good to be doing stuff like that. So that was my first problem. Hopefully I was clear there. Now let's get to grind and miss you. Look, I'm not going to take any shots at miss you. I know what the song's about. That's why I always give a shout out to the Healing Net Foundation anytime they play Miss You and Joy. Um, and grind, whatever. Grind's a waste of time, man. Let's be honest. It is a complete waste of time. It's not funny. That seemed like they couldn't even hear. Like Mike's pointing at his ear. Paige is pointing in the air. Trey's trying to get Fishman to repeat a joke. That must have been a horrible joke. Or it was horribly offensive and he didn't want to say it publicly. One or the other. So that whole situation was just horrible. And then they follow that with Miss You. So then you realize, okay, now we're looking at a near, you know, a 25 minute encore or something with most of, and then yes, the Harry Hood was very good, but you know, we had to go through a lot of crap just to get to that Harry Hood. And that's what I mean by they don't necessarily know how to end the show sometimes. That was my whole point, you know, from no men in land, no men in no man's land through Harry Hood, it wasn't all hit, okay? And at the end of the show, it kind of should be all hit. I mean, these guys are really good. They know what they're doing. That's why I just, sometimes I don't understand when they blow it. <sighs> and then sometimes I don't understand you guys. Like the first comment, Hood. Hood was not the problem. And then, then just the, this morning, everybody, like, and you know, people accuse me of being negative, man. You guys, you dwell on the negative in my videos, too. I said a lot of positive shit. You just only heard the negative. That's kind of on you for being a chomper. And the every song is a blessing crowd. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna get too judgy here, but look, trust me, every song is a blessing, people. You need people like me. Because if every guy in the crowd, every woman in the crowd, every person in the crowd was a everything is a blessing, the band would be pretty fucking confused. They would not know what's good, what's bad. You'd be the person up front that's just jumping up and down, pumping your fist to every song, every minute, every note of every show. Doesn't matter if it's like a quiet part of what's the use. Doesn't matter if it's grind. Doesn't matter if it's peak fluffhead. So come on, every song is not a blessing, okay? Some songs suck. Some songs they would admit suck. Some, some good songs have sucky versions. It's not all a blessing, okay? It's a blessing that they're still playing. I'll agree with you there. Trey could be dead. Mike also could be in prison. <laughs> Just kidding. Boom. He's never done anything criminal that I know of. Some drugs. <laughs>